What I've set up here is an August 4th generation Wi-Fi deadbolt. It's very easy to install. It, you just uh, remove the thumb lever on the inside and put a plate on there and just snap this thing on there. And you can control it with Alexa here, like this. Alexa, is the door locked? Checking, hang on. The front door is locked. Okay. You could also use your voice or the app on the phone to unlock it. But when you go to unlock it, it's gonna ask you for a pin number. That's so anyone standing outside your door just can't yell, Alex A, unlock the door. So here's what happens. Alexa, unlock the front door. What's your voice code for front door? And I would have to say that out loud. And you may not want to do that because maybe there's other people in your home and you don't want them to know your code. Um, so there's another way that you could do it. You could create an Alexa routine and use a simple button like this. I will unlock the front door. What's your voice code for front door? Unlocking, hang on. The front door is unlocked. So the way this works is when I was, when the Alexa routine ran, I use what's called a custom action. And that is like a voice command, but a silent voice command. So in the Alexa routine, it said to unlock the door and then it said the actual pin code. So it's as simple as that. If you want an easy way to do it, you could also run that Alexa routine with a simple voice command too. But if, you're, if you or your loved one has trouble speaking, uh, they might have aphasia. You might want to use a button instead. This is the old discontinue echo button that you can still get on eBay. You could also use a flick button with your phone as a hub or an actual flick hub. In the description, I'll be including a link to the actual items used here and also a link to an article that I wrote on how to set this all up and sample Alexa routines in there too.